Good, good, good evening, beautiful people. Ontarian Hawkins here. I am the passive income guru. Let's talk about marriage and marketing. Bittersweet. Bittersweet. Marriage and marketing. Does it is there is there a comparison? What are the differences? You know, uh for for both to work does it you know what what are the keys to success in marriage what are the keys to success in marketing does it do you do you need to develop a vision do you need to have tenacity do you need to have goals ladies and gentlemen i'm here to tell you that there are many many differences and many 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 comparisons when it comes to marriage and marketing and you know five days I am proud to say folks five days away from my one year anniversary to my lovely beautiful bride Kima gifted hands Hawkins Lo love you baby my baby right there and uh, decided to marry her because she's she's a master marketer if you didn't know it she is a master marketer and the way she the way she's a, ma a master at the marketing is she caught my eye first you know because of you know she's beautiful she caught my eye and then she 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 went into the the marketing process you know consistency uh, she was she she was always in communication with me, and I was too. When we were courting, not dating, when we were courting, okay, there's a big difference. You know, we were we were in constant communication with with each other. So in essence, both of, both of us were great marketers. Did you know? Did you know that? Before you got married, before you found your the love of your life, that you were a great marketer. Did you know that? How do I know that? Well, if you're a woman, you know you gotta you gotta look good. You gotta put on your makeup. You gotta put on that dress if you're gonna go on a date, right? You gotta market yourself in such a way to where you are appealing and you're compelling to your to the opposite sex, right? Is that not marketing or yes or no? Is that marketing? Absolutely. Absolutely. So what it what is marketing? Marketing is preparing people to make a purchase. Okay? In marriage, if you if you if you find a, a someone that you're looking to marry, you are preparing them. You are preparing them to marry you. So you have to market yourself in a way to where you you become attractive, right? All right, you guys get me. You see what I'm saying? So, what's the what's the struggle? There's a, are there struggles in marriage? Absolutely. And I had how, how do I know that? I know that because look at all look at all the divorces. Look at all of the look at all of the divorces out there folks if there is no struggle in marriage then i don't know what to tell you okay but when you get married it can be bitter but it can also be sweet there are rules to the game first of all you have to love each other unconditionally you have to be in love with your mate and we all know that love is not necessarily an emotion initially Initially, it's an emotion, okay? But love is, is doing those things, serving your mate regardless of how you feel. Did you get me on that? Being in love with your mate is doing things for them, loving them regardless of how you feel. That is real love right there, folks. So when you say, I'm in love with my husband, I'm in love with my wife, you do things all because you love them, not because you feel like it. Love is, is goes beyond a feeling. Okay? 
So yes, in five days, October the 8th to be exact, we're going to be celebrating our one year anniversary. Did it take work? Absolutely. Did it take a consistent amount of marketing to keep this marriage intact? Absolutely. We still, my wife and I, we still, we still go on date nights, folks. Why do we do that? Because we're still marketing ourselves to each other to, to, to make sure to, to solidify our love to each other. We're solidifying our love to each other every single day. We're sacrificing for each other every single day. You know, I've learned a lot in marriage. I've learned that I, I can't put myself first. I've learned I have to love my wife regardless. And I do. Regardless of what she does, regardless of what she says to me, you know, positive or negative, I'm going to love her. Okay? I am going to love her regardless. And that's what it's all about, right? So it takes work. It, it's a lifetime deal. I'm driving, folks, so don't mind me here. It is a it is a lifetime deal. Okay? And I'm committed to this thing, and she is too, till death do us part. Till death, death do us part. When you get in the game of marketing, folks. When you understand the psychology of all this stuff and you understand that it takes work with anything you do, diligence, consistency, persistence, vision, you know, the best, the best marriage, the best marriage is, are the ones that can see beyond the physical. The, met, the best marriages are the ones that can see beyond the physical. Entrepreneurship, marketing is seen beyond the physical. So I posted this, this quote earlier today and it said something like this. Employees, employees work, change, exchange their time for money. Okay. Employees exchange their time for money. Entrepreneurs, marketers, exchange their money for time freedom. So years ago, folks, I decided to exchange my money for time freedom. It was a painful experience. Then the sun is beaming today. It was a painful experience at first. Okay, that's why I call it bittersweet. The bitter part is that money leaving your hands, not knowing what is going to happen. The bitter thing is when you decide to marry that guy, when you decide to marry that girl, the bitter thing is you don't know how they're going to really be. You don't know if they're going to change on you in a second. You don't know if they're going to be a gold digger. <laughs> right? Okay, so you don't know you don't know if they're going to be a gold digger. You don't know if they're going to turn on you. You don't know if they're going to cheat on you. You're taking a risk. It's bitter. The sweet part of a marriage, the sweet part of a marriage is when someone unconditionally loves you no matter what till death do you part. Till death do you part. Right? So the bitter the bitter part of marketing is releasing that money out of your hands. Releasing that money out of your hands, not knowing what it, what is going to happen. What results am I going to get if I release this money out of my hands? So all you do, you close your eyes and you say I know this is a part of, of the process. I'm going to trust the process. Okay, it's all about faith. It's all about faith, folks. You know, entrepreneurship is not hard. It's, it's not easy. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Is it worth the grind every day? Absolutely. You know, if you're, if you're new to the industry, 
and you've been struggling for a long time. You've been you've lost a lot of money. And and P.S. And by the way, you're not you're not alone if you've lost money in this industry, in the entrepreneurship world. We have to, you know, what you release from your hands, ultimately, ultimately will come back to you if, if you put in work. If you put in work, you see. So it's bittersweet. What you release, what you invest in your in your business and yourself, you know, it can be painful. Oh, this is, you know, I don't have enough to invest, but I want to make I want to make a difference in my financial status. I want to make a difference in my in what's going on financially in my life. So I'm going to release this money out of my hands knowing in faith that something can really happen that's good. I'm going to do that. Most people are hesit- are hesitating these days. Most people are very hesitant. You know, your job, the job you work, you know, you're fulfilling other people's dreams. And I'm seeing and I'm hearing every day which is which is really really uh, mind blowing and heartbreaking. I'm hearing every day of people who are getting fired from their job, they're getting laid off from their job. So your job is not hesitant in letting you go any day. They're not hesitant at all. So you have to get to a point where the bitter, the bitter part of releasing in money from your hands becomes sweet. The bitter part of releasing money from your hands becomes sweet. And when you do that, things will start to go in motion. You see, it's going to take work. It's going to take vision. Is it going to be painful? Absolutely. But I tell you what, guys, I want you to think about this. There was a time in my life. um, And I think about this image of a lion in an alley. You know, you're, you're in an alley with a lion, right? And you have nowhere to go. There is a wall. There is a wall to your left. There is a wall to your right. And you have this lion right in front of you. Okay. Now here. Now check this out. You got one way to go. You either lay down. You got two ways to go. I'm sorry. You either lay down and and get ate up, or you you force yourself. And you you go head on with that lion and face your fears and just and fight. Okay? Have have any of you have any of you been in that spot in your life where your back was against a wall, against a big lion? Now of course I'm speaking metaphorically, that lion can be anything. It can be, you know, it can be foreclosure, it can be, you know. Uh, not enough money at the end of the month. It can be anything. Have you ever been where your back was against a wall? If so, you found a way out. You found a way out somehow. You didn't lay down and die, right? You found a way out, and the same concept, the same energy that where that where you found yourself out of the situation, that same that same flow. That same consistency, that same fighting you will happen in any area of your life. Marriage, entrepreneurship, marketing, any area of life, it's going it's to happen. Okay? So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, you got something out of this. Marriage and marketing, it is uh, a big deal. Okay? It, uh, it goes together. And, uh, you know, we're going to be celebrating... In beautiful Maui, Hawaii. I can't wait for that. We're going to be celebrating in in Hawaii. And um, we're looking forward to it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you got something out of this. God bless. Talk to you guys soon.